uh, something I'm going to start doing is uh, as I'm writing, as I'm taking my break from writing and explaining the story to myself, because, you know, the more I explain to myself, the more familiar I get with the continuity, and also I come up with new ideas, and I can change things. I mean, things aren't set in stone. So, <clears throat> I'm going to start recording it. Um, I know this, and I'm the only one going to see this, probably. So, uh, okay. Let's... Let's talk this out. This is a Telltale style game called Super, let's say. Um, that's just uh, the working title. It's about superheroes. And it's not about superheroes. It's about a TV show about superheroes. And the main characters are the camera crew, um, the audio, the camera crew, the camera man is um, the boy. Um, Jerry. Let's call him Jerry. Let's name him after Jerry. Um, he's a bit of a nerd. He's a bit of a weird guy. Um, he romanticizes heroes. He does the, uh, pose, uh, anytime someone compliments him, where he thinks he does good. Um, okay. The girl, Amelia, let's name her after Molly, um, or no, Amalia, sorry, not Amelia, Amalia, Amalia with an A, A-M-A-L-I-A, -A -A. Amalia, she's very apathetic, she's independent, no one knows she has a boyfriend except for the narrator, um, because they're close, they live near each other, uh, he walks her home sometimes, and that's one of the first choices you have to make, we'll get to that later. Uh, she's apathetic, kind of lethargic about, um, not lethargic, uh, kind of... Yeah, kind of lethargic, but she's also kind of upset about being on the show. She doesn't want... We'll get to that. She doesn't want to be on the show. Um, she wants to be an audio engineer. We'll get to more of that about her boyfriend and everything. Okay. Then the narrator is the PA for the classic, who is the, the star of the show. He's aging. He's a bit of a diva. He's a huge diva, actually. Um, he's a bit misogynistic. He doesn't want to lose to a woman. The opening scene has him losing to a woman in a scripted fight because it's the beginning of the season. The beginning of the season, he has to encounter a problem that he cannot deal with, um, that he's not strong enough, that it's a new enemy or an enemy that's been powered up, whatever. It's Slipstream, a woman, um, and she's not sexualized, but uh, she's just... Uh, she she beats him, essentially. Um, she throws him down. She lifts him over his, her head. Um, she's obviously smaller than him. He's more like a, a Superman kind of build. And she's um, more like Catwoman. But she lifts him over his head, or her head, and uh, throws him down on the ground and causes like a big crater where uh, um, he's, uh, he's knocked out, supposedly. Um, it hurts, but he's not actually knocked out. It's all it's all acting. It's the one few times he actually does acting. Um, <clears throat> okay. So this is all scripted. Mostly, it's done. The show is done um, as like a reality show where they just focus on the drama, but they cut a lot of it out, and they kind of script things, push people together, etc. But um, it's it's a weird blend of uh, real superheroes and scripted uh, moments. The script is usually done between the um, to link together things that are already happening because of personal drama. Um, what would be the personal drama between Slipstream and the classic then? Um, hmm. The obvious choice is for them that they are dating. That they used to be dating, and um, you know things went sour, like a, a Batman and Catwoman kind of thing. Only uh, Slipstream is not like an antihero; she's just uh, she's a villain. Um, well, actually, everyone should be a bit of an antihero. Even like all everyone should be sympathetic. Uh, even um, the classic, who is the hero, needs he will be uh, very unsympathetic. Um, What's the opposite? Anti-sympathetic? I don't know. Um, we'll look that up. Okay. So, um, what is the 
deal with those two? Why do they hate each other? She... Something to do with his kids, maybe? Um... She's married to one of his kids? No. That wouldn't be very good. Um, she is... Why don't you like people? Why don't you, as a person, like people? Um, I don't like people because they bother me. <laughs> I have to talk to them. Why wouldn't Jordan like someone? Let's think of Jordan. He's a more normal person than I am. Um... Battery uh, is not fourteen percent. Should be fine. Um, what about Miri? Why don't Miri like someone? Okay, let's base it off of the friend who um, who is always doing something for attention. Let's say Slipstream used to be um, a hero or part of a, a coalition of people. They're not necessarily heroes. They're just people who uh, banded together for a common cause. Um, not heroes, not villains, not anti-heroes, whatever. Um, they're just people. I'd say, like, uh, the friend uh, click. And Slipstream was always trying to get the attention for herself by playing the victim. Uh, no, that's not a very good one. Um, I feel like that's too stereotypy. Um, and I don't know enough people to do that well, to do that effectively. So let's let's think of something else. Why wouldn't the classic like Slipstream? Why wouldn't Slipstream like the classic? Um, maybe. No, we ha we can't make the classic the only bad guy within this relationship. I was going to say, um, the classic misogynistic, he's um, kind of saying she's a woman, she should not be fighting on the front line, she's not a, she's not a threat to me, whatever. Um, and so she actively goes out of the way to make herself a threat. But why doesn't she like him other than he's a misogynist? I think that's good enough of a reason, but I think there needs to be more like... Um, I mean, misogynists, misogynist, they end up having friends for whatever reason. Even friends of the opposite sex. Um, could it be something political? No. Um, they're just stupid? No. Revenge. Okay, let's, let's work with this. Revenge. Um, slipstreams. Brother. Slipstream is trying to expose the classic because her brother, um, someone at the time, she was um, a hero, a part of his coalition, a part of his group um, of people. And, you know, they were like the Justice League, essentially, but a very small, or the X Men or something, um, the Avengers. Uh, which the, the classic was the main one. He was like the, the strongest of them all, and the others were um, kind of smaller villains and so um slipstream found out i uh, know slipstream got her brother um we'll think of his name for him um no he doesn't even get a like superhero name he just gets um he gets nothing like, he, he gets nothing uh, at the moment because he was too new to the franchise to get named immediately um but her brother tried to join, and he, her brother, had similar powers to what the classic had. And so the classic feared replacement. So the classic, in classic, classic fashion, uh, killed uh, Slipstream's brother. Okay? I think that's um, good. And now she's been trying to expose him. And it's been kind of a, a thing in the question for, like, the last season... She kept her distance from him, and they split up the team. Whatever happened um, uh, meant that the classic had to take on a really strong villain, send him to the moon. Okay. Okay, I think that's good. I think um, 
expo and so she broke up the team because she was spreading nasty rumors about him and then she just kind of before he could kill her um because he is the classic he is superman the strongest hero he's been the lead for the past 20 seasons since the beginning <clears throat> he's the start and his name used to be captain because it was kind of a cheesy name it was you know they had um he can name people anything that they wanted. So they named him Captain. Um, he was the beginning, he was the first. You could name someone Captain. It's just like Captain America. You can name him Captain because he's one of the uh, early superheroes. Okay? And Superman is Superman. I mean, that's a, a very obvious one. So Captain, um, you know, he's been on the show for a long time. He's now the classic. They renamed him. They rebranded him after some shit went down. We'll think of that shit later. Um. Let's keep going with the, the storyboard. Um, he is a diva because even though his popularity is waning, um, he still is the only hero that has survived long enough because um, they scripted it. So in the last season, uh, all of his teammates, except for Slipstream, and, um, uh, died. They, they scripted it so that they, his teammates turned on him. And because he won, they made him the hero. Because they can't have the villain lose, uh, winning. So the hero, the classic one, even though he wasn't really the hero, he was the bad guy. Um, or he was in the wrong. I mean, he's a murderer. Whatever. So yeah, I guess that makes him a bad guy. Um, okay. So he's just trying to protect himself. Uh, protects his position because this is his show. He loves it. He's a bit of a megalomaniac. Okay, I think that's good. Um, so in the first scene, you see Slipstream crushing him, um, throwing him onto the ground, creating a crater, and he's not knocked out, but it's scripted that he's knocked out, so he pretends he's acting. And, um, you know, the, the director cuts, says that was a, uh, she says her line, she ties him up with titanium doodads that um, electrify him if he resists. And, um, um, yeah, so they think because that's, um, that's the thing that, uh, okay, that'll, that'll come back. The, the, the doodads um, will come back. I've been rambling for 12 minutes. I haven't gotten to uh, the second scene. I got really through the first scene. I've gotten through like the first minute of the show, of the game. So, um, the, during the, the throwdown, um, something hits the microphone because something that, um, Amalia is monitoring. Okay. Amalia is a sound engineer, audio engineer, and she's monitoring it and she's playing it back while the director is watching the, the playback of the, the shot from, um, Jerry who's the cameraman, and uh, he's not the head cameraman, he's not the lead photographer, um, but Amalia is the, the lead audio engineer. Okay. Um, so he's watching it back, and they hear a gonk. And um, So even though the director has said, that's a great shot, uh, we're just going to play this back and make sure everything is exactly as we had. They've, been do they've done this a few times before, and... Um, they've had to do it for the different angles of the shots, but um, they're not really sure which shot they're going to use, so they're shooting uh, multiple angles, and then they're going to cut it all together later. Uh, more... <coughs> okay, so you have that, and um, let's see. Uh, so there's a gonk, and they think they got the final shot, and they, but there's this gonk, and so they have to reshoot it, and so... The classic has been thrown down ten times already um, by this woman who uh, he knows he can beat her up. He knows he can win in a fight against her. Um, he also thinks because she's a woman, she is inferior to him. But that's not why she's weaker to him. She's just weaker to him because he's the classic. And he's you know been here for 20 years. He's had the most injections um, of the drug that gives him the superpower. Uh, important. Important world builder. Okay. Um, hmm. so he's pissed off that he has to do another shot, uh, with this woman beating him. And, um, as the PA, you kind of have to talk him down. Be like, Hey, you can either try to talk him down or you can be like, 
no, I'm not going to do that. Um, that's one of your first choices. <clears throat> and he's going to remember that. He's going to remember what you say. He's going to remember if you side with him or if you side with um, the director, if you say, oh, this shit happens, or if you don't say anything. Um, but you're, yeah, okay. Let's see. Um, so after that, you know, he has a big tantrum. He yells at the director. Uh, they don't get the shot that day. And this is the season opener. Um, the classic is already in hot water for what he's done to the moon because it wasn't scripted. Uh, but he took one of the, the former teammates of his to the moon and killed him that way. He, like, crushed him against the moon, destroyed the sea of tranquility. Do you want to go outside? Want to go potty? Go bark. Okay. Uh, so environmentalists. Um, who knew the moon had environmentalists? Uh, <laughs> um, that's what the director says. Who knew the moon had environmentalists? Anyways. Uh, I think that's, <laughs> that's an ingenious lie. Um, brilliant. I'm patting myself on the chest. Um, okay, so the classic storms off. Slipstream goes to her, um, goes to her trailer, whatever, and uh, the the director comes out and he's like, "Okay, we we have to, okay, guys, we hate to do this, but I have to replace uh, the classic." Okay, um, look, I'm not gonna give you any spiel about getting in young blood or anything. I don't care if you're 80. We just gotta get someone who's easier to work with, and see if <clears throat> and try to get another fan favorite like the classic used to be. But his ratings been dropping. It's causing all sorts of trouble. Causing all sorts of trouble within the script. Making it hard to write for everyone. It hard for everyone to write, to shoot, to get this show done. I mean, we're already working 16-hour days. We gotta get this stuff done. I mean, we don't shoot many shots. We don't get. We don't shoot many scripted scenes. But we're working 16 hours when we do, just to get the perfect shot. Okay, that's the level of excellence people expect from us. And so we need uh, new blood. If they're saying we need new blood, we need new. Blood. So he ropes everyone in to getting um, into. Uh, he ropes everyone on the crew uh, into this battle royale that they're going to do in their uh, their their favorite um, set location, uh, which is a city they've built that's um, you know full of skyscrapers, built like uh, a Korean city where it's full of apartment and concrete uh, buildings and offices and um, a bunch of little shops, but uh, also a bunch of like big uh, skyscraper towering buildings, business buildings. Uh, it's like a city. It's very jam-packed, not a lot of greenery, but it is near the beach. Okay? It is near the beach, and it's also by mountains. <laughs> Maybe it's Santa Cruz. I don't know. Anyway, um, it's, all, it's, it's on an island, too, so that there's no way to go from the beach um, to uh, wherever without a plane, or a boat, um, yeah, or a train, I guess, no, no train, no train, um, a boat or a plane, uh, so they're gonna have battle royale there, he's roped in everyone, Jerry is excited about this, because he gets to be, he gets his chance to be the hero, he's a nerdy guy, he's very thin, he's kind of ignored by a lot of people, you know, he asks the questions of, like, the classic, he's always getting, like, autographs and stuff, and, um, Sometimes people get suspicious and like, I don't want to see this ending up on eBay. He's like, oh, no, no, I have a collection of them. I get one every season. And um, I can show you at home. And uh, the classic is like, whatever. I, whatever, I don't care. Uh, whatever, I don't care. Because uh, he's a bit of a dick off camera. Um, at press events, he's very nice to everyone. Everyone thinks he's great. Um, well, they used to. They, they've just gotten tired of it. Okay, so um, Amalia, on the other hand, is not excited about it. Uh, when asked for your opinion, uh, like, you know, uh, you have to choose which side you're with. Are you with the people who don't want to do this, who like their jobs as um, behind the scenes people? Or do you are you with the people who are behind the scenes people because they want to be stars on the show, they want to be heroes? And so you have to choose. Be like, oh yeah, well, you know, this is great. Um, like, this could be fun. Um, versus... 
No, you don't choose that. You just choose your answer. Um, you can choose, you know, to side with Amalia and be like, well, um, you can choose with Amalia, you can try and defuse the situation. Um, you can say nothing. And you can also be like, no, <laughs> don't make that noise. Um, what, can, what else can you do? You can just, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll think of one. We'll think of a story um, of uh, another response. This is, this is a storyboard. Anyway. Um, so after that, everyone gets their injections and it's like time to go home for a lot of people. But uh, Amalia has to try and clean up that um, last audio track. So you get to chance, you get the chance to stay with her. Um, you get the option to either stay with her, go out to the bar with uh, Jerry, or you get to go home. Uh, your, your, your choice. Um, if you stay with her, you're going to Amalia's home. And you should be like, oh, thanks for staying. Thanks for walking me home. Um, you didn't have to. Uh, I could do it myself, but, you know, I guess it was nice. Um, I guess it was nice. Dude. I don't know. Um, they live near each other, so they walk home together um, occasionally. Uh, Jerry and Amalia are not that close together. Um, Jerry does not even know that Amalia has a boyfriend. Uh, the narrator does. I don't know what the narrator's name is. We'll get to him. <laughs> okay, so when you go home, uh, if you go... Or if you go with Amalia, you're with her boyfriend, who, um, or you you meet her boyfriend for the first time. You've never met him before. You've always just kind of walked home. Um, huh. How long have you known him? Or how long have you known him? <sighs> Let's say she's a pretty private person. Um, you know she has a boyfriend. You've never met him, though. And you just happen to run into him for the first time after, like, like two years of them. Um, of, um, two years of knowing her. Okay, you've known her for two years. You've been a PA for two. Um, you got a... You... <laughs> Um, okay, sorry, I got an email. <laughs> email for a writing position that's volunteer, freelance, unpaid, yada, yada, yada. I, I hate it. People think writing is fun. I mean, anyone can do it. Yada, yada, yada. We all write, but you're, you're, idiots. Um, <laughs> you're an idiot if you think that. There's a lot to story structure that you don't understand or to just good composition. Um, anyway, let's get back to the story. Um... Okay. Um, hmm. What was I? Okay, if you you go home, this is your first time meeting her boyfriend. Um, usually, uh, she just kind of... Usually, she walks you home, but she's had a hard day, so you decide, oh, I'll walk home with you. Ooh, that can be where the choice comes in. You stay with Amalia. Uh, if you if you stay with Amalia, uh, you can walk home, and you can either um, say, "Oh, it's been a hard." Um, maybe that's not good. Um, okay, you go with Amalia. Then you have the. Oh, okay, let's turn this off. 